This is Rob Turbot for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Delighted to be joined by former England striker Teddy Sheringham. We're here at the Michael Watson Benefit Golf Day. How are you, Teddy? I'm very well, thank you. Just had enjoyed a nice game of golf with a few pals and, um, yeah, very good. How did it go? Look like you were getting on all right from this, uh, from over here. It was all right, yeah, yeah. Uh, we was one up going down the last. Um, our opponents just got, uh, one of the Newmans got um, a nice little birdie and I missed mine, right, lipped out, so... Uh, you know, we, we halved the game. Good day. That's OK. As every, everyone's here for the for the ambience, for the spirits. It's all good. A nice shared one's OK. Uh, let's just talk about Michael Watson. Of course, we're down here for his benefit day. Uh, first and foremost, what an inspirational character he is. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, you know, we all know what happened to Michael a long time ago now. But um, anything to come down and, and, and help in the charity. We, we, was here, we was all here for a Great Ormond Street Hospital um, charity day a couple of weeks ago. Michael was here. Um, doing his bit, um, and Phil Newman, who, who owns Stapleford Abbott, said, let's, let's put something on for Michael, and it's lovely to come down here and play my part as well. I mean, you've been around, obviously, football and sport for a long time, and boxing is a slightly different sport. It's, it's very, very unique in its own regards, but when you see somebody like Michael, who's been, you know, he's been hurt, he's been through an awful lot in his life, I think they, you know, he was never supposed to walk again. I think he did the London Marathon a few years after that. It's a real inspirational tale. It is, with, without a doubt. You know, he's a... He's a he's a proper fighter, isn't he? That's that's what that's what fighters do. They fight on, and um, it's great to see him up and about last week. I've not actually seen him here today, but um, it was great to see him up and about last week. Just moving on, a couple of uh, boxing questions. Of course, the last couple of weeks we've had uh, the heavyweight titles change hand with Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. Tyson Fury, massive win this past weekend against Deontay Wilder out in Las Vegas. Pretty good to be a British boxing fan at the minute, isn't it, with the big boys? It is a little bit. Uh, loved what Tyson Fury did the other night. Um, you know, he talked talk the talk, walked the walk, didn't he? He just he told him what he was going to do, said he was going to knock him out, and he did it. You know, fantastic, and the way he did it as well. You're looking in good shape, Teddy. What about like, nowadays? We're seeing other sportsmen and actors and what have you getting in the ring? You ever fancy a bit of boxing? Uh, no, only with my big brother when I was younger. Uh, there's always a bit of that going on. Um, no, never done. Never. Oh, one of my old football mates at Millwall, Carl Cowley, used to be a boxing man as well, and his dad took me in the ring a couple of times, but. Um, no, it's not for me, that one, mate. <laughs> I think fair enough, yeah. Uh, before I let you go, just move on for a couple of football slash boxing questions. So I want to know, out of all of the players that you played with in your career, so we're going to go teammates first, who are you sending into the boxing ring? Who would you back out of all of your teammates you've had over the years to be a good boxer? Cool, what a great question. Oh, Terry Erlock, all day long. Uh, looked, looked the part as a boxer, was a footballer, very good footballer, but um, looked the part as a boxer and... I reckon he walk, uh, talks the talk as well and walks the walk, no doubt. Okay, now the next one is opponents of people that you played against in your career. Who are you going to put in the other corner? Yeah, this this comes out an awful lot. You know, when you talk about the old men of football, um, and one name springs to mind uh, often. I mean, there was a lot of big boys when I first started playing, but you you probably wouldn't remember them. But someone like Mick Harford now. Uh, around my era, a little bit before mine as well, but everyone knows him as, as the big old man in, uh, in football and you wouldn't want to mess with him. <laughs> OK, just moving on. Uh, one question that I'd like to ask you, Premier League this year, you've got Man City, obviously top of the table at the minute, Liverpool coming through nicely. Who's going to win the Premier League this year, Teddy? In a word, Man City. Why? Uh, I just love what Pep's done uh, since he's come over to England. He's, he's transformed English football taking it to another level, I, I should say, really. Um, I, just, I just love the way he gets his teams all knowing exactly what they should be doing. It's hard work to do that, to get everybody, everybody in the whole squad knowing exactly what they should be doing. And um, they play the football how it should be played. He's, he's there to entertain. Um, he knows his team need to entertain. That's, that's what the game's all about. And they score goals and they win things as well. So, top man. And final question, as I understand it, you've got to shoot off and go and cover the England game tonight. Um, what do you make of what's going on with the England team? Obviously, the last couple of tournaments, we've had a lot more success in recent years than we've had for a long time. What do you make of the work that Gareth Southgate's been doing with the England team? Um, yeah, love it. Uh, I think, you know, I've said from day one, that I, I like the way Gareth's gone in there and he's put his own thoughts on it, his own way of managing, his own way of playing. Very much like the Terry Venables era when, I, when we played. Um, I love the whole vibe of it, that it's a, it's a united uh, England team. Um, I love the way they're playing with freedom. Um, he's taken, it seems like he's taken the pressure off the players to go out there and, and perform. And that's what a good manager does, takes the pressure off so that they go out and enjoy themselves and, and show the, their best football. 
How are they going to get on tonight against Hungary? Yeah, it should be a comfortable win again tonight. OK, well, Teddy Sheringham, thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social and again for being down here today for Michael Watson. Catch up with you soon. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers.